uh, some guacamole. So I'm making this guacamole, not for your typical purpose of dipping with chips, uh, because honestly, one, I don't wanna make chips, two, in the air fryer, two, I don't really like corn, right? I don't like how it feels, and that's, that's what works for me. I'm not the anti-corn, um, although I used to be, but it just doesn't work for me. So I don't like corn, I don't care about chips. Right here, I'm gonna make some guacamole, and what I'll use it for is instead of salad dressing, right? Some people like salad dressing. I'll use um, like two tablespoons of guacamole or I'll spread it in a wrap or something like that. Uh, maybe I'll put it on cabbage leaves or something, but it's more of a spread than a dip, right? So, but it's the same thing, right? If you wanna dip into it with your corn chips, do it. All right, so um, I have here some avocados organic cilantro i always buy green stuff organic because they spray a lot on them uh, especially your herbs here and you could get more detailed info about what is sprayed more um, like the clean 15 and dirty dozen ewg um, i'll link it in the show notes when you go to that website it shows you the conventional foods that test higher in pesticides so go organic or the foods that test lower, the conventional foods that test lower in pesticides, so it's clear to go conventional. So it's just a cool tool. But anyways, I always get my green stuff organic. I got limes, onion, tomatoes, um, and I'm gonna use salt and pepper, and that's about it. So I'm gonna chop this stuff up, and then I'll show you guys what I got here. I got everything chopped over here. So I used half of a large red onion. Here is a large tomato, plus I had some leftover in the fridge. So I threw it in there too. Um, I have three limes juiced here. Limes are always questionable because sometimes you get one lime and like nothing comes out or, or they're bountiful. So um, that you can play by ear, play by taste. I have one bunch of cilantro. This is a two cup container, I believe. 1.25 cups. So one and a quarter cup right here of cilantro chopped. And then I have three avocados. I already got them. I took the flesh out and then I put some salt in there. So basically after all the chopping and shenanigans, we just throw everything together and it's done. And I like to have this, um, like I said before, is more of like a dressing or like like something to put on top of something. Guacamole on the side. So it, it gives moisture and fat to whatever dish that might not have it. And it's good fat too, right? So it's um, the fat we want. All right. Oh, I probably could have I definitely could have done this. So this is what you definitely um, might want to do. Mash up the avocados for putting all the stuff inside because um, luckily mine are pretty ripe. But that could affect, right? Like you don't want to be mashing up your tomatoes. Not in that, you know, not in that seriousness. Right. Oops, that's okay. At least hopefully you won't do it. Um, some people like to put cumin in their ava in their guacamole too, and that's cool. You could put garlic in there, garlic powder. People like that. I just really like it plain, so it can go with anything. Like there's no theme to it. There's no cumin taste, there's no chili taste, there's no spicy. It's literally just avocado, lime, tomato, and onions, and cilantro. All right. So, you know, do what makes you feel good, which is like a whole avocado right there. So this wooden mallet thing that I'm using is from Lebanon. It's like what my family used, all, like my whole life growing up, I'd always see them in the kitchen. 
cooking, um, and they would always be using this tool to press garlic, to mix things, to whatever the case may be. And now I use it. I like it. This is from my aunt. So I'm gonna throw my cilantro in there. And this you can also do like um, to taste. And I have my lime. There's so much um, vegetable fun in here that, yeah, it's awesome. Heavy handed with the cilantro, with the tomatoes. I had a thought while I was um, preparing for this recipe um, to make it with almond yogurt, unsweetened high protein almond yogurt. So that is what I'm gonna create next because that sounds awesome to me. Um, so it would be less fat, it would be higher in protein, and so it would be awesome. It would be more nutrient dense, or, or a different type of nutrient dense, there'd still be avocado in there, and there'd still be everything else in here, because uh, people do that all the time when it's not plant-based with Greek yogurt, and now that we have a variety of plant-based Greek yogurt, why wouldn't it work? It would. All right, so let me give this a taste. It's perfect, it's awesome, it's delicious. So if you wanted to adjust the salt, you could do that. If you wanted to adjust, um, add more lime, you can't really take any out. Real awesome, I can't wait to put this on salad or to put it next to anything really. You know, if you're a rice kind of person, rice and beans, this would be delicious next to it. Um, yeah, let me know if you make it. Leave, leave what you think in the comments. If you like what you see subscribe to this channel um, you can follow me on facebook rachel detroit coaching instagram linkedin i hope you uh stop by you like what you see here share this video with someone you think it might help subscribe to this youtube channel follow me on facebook rachel detroit coaching i'm on instagram if you like that more personal stuff too um, follow me on linkedin and if you're looking for coaching I'm a life coach, so what I do is I help people transform their entire lifestyle. So I'm certified in nutrition and personal training. We'll develop a plan that works for you for sustainable health and longevity. We'll get you to your goals and we'll create the life you want. Send me a message directly. Reach out at www.racheldetroit.com. All right, take care.